Hi investors, I'm just about to run Mark Minervini's one month trend screen on MarketSmith and I thought I would just bring you along for the ride. The one month trend screen is one of my favorites for finding stocks coming out of explosive power play moves, that's a Mark Minervini term, and stocks that are recent IPOs and just coming out of an IPO primary base and, and just moving into an uptrend, hence the term one month trend. I've been investing since 1996 and um, I forgot what I was saying there. And I specialize in technical analysis. Maybe we'll do a little technical analysis on some of these charts and maybe we will put a few of them on my Patreon focus list. I have a, a Patreon group. It's about 60 members now where I go over my portfolio and focus list every weekend. Now let's run this screener. Let me show you how so... You open up the bottom tab here. Now the easiest way to, once you've done it once, you can put it under favorites. See how I have it, Minervini trend one month? But if you don't know how to do it, you go, I hope you can see that, it's quite small. Now I can't really zoom in. So you go to reports, right here. You go to technical, well, let's close that. You go to, you go to reports. You go to stocks, open up stocks. You go to technical, open up technical, and here you'll see Minervini's one month screener, um, trends that are one to four months, the five months, and the five months wide. And let's talk about, I have um, videos on the other ones. I'll try to link them in the description and or at the end of the video. But let's just do the Minervini one month trend right now. So you just double click it. And there they are. Looks like there are 78 today. And one thing we can do, you can organize it however you want to, by price, by volume, by market cap. I'm gonna organize it relative strength. I really am a strong believer in buying the strongest stocks in the market. Why would you not wanna buy the stocks that are doing the best in the market? Pretty basic common sense, right? Now, Minervini, for the most part, only buys stocks with the 88 or higher <clears throat> relative strength rating. Occasionally, he'll make an exception for an IPO base or and that sort of thing. But let's do, let's look at the ones with the highest RS rating. And we're not going to go through all 78, that's for sure. But let's just go through um, some until we run out of time, or less, until I run out of time. I got some... Um, I have some other things to do. So once we have them organized, we can just space bar through them. Let's just space bar through them, see what we see. Guess what, everybody? It's a brand new day. I took a dinner break last night, and I never did come back to making the video. So let's just jump back into it now. And that's that's why I have a different shirt on. So let's just tab through these things now. Many of these are going to be way overextended. In fact, almost all of the first ones will, but probably some of them will be power plays that we can keep our eye on. Let's just go for it here. Money Lion. Money Money Lion. This one is definitely overextended. It's in a nice uptrend. This is the kind of stock you want to be in, but are not really buyable with a low risk entry point. Our proper entry point would have been right there. GLBS, $2 marine transport stock, really volatile, uh, rolling back here. I don't really see a pivotable a pivot area to trade off of. Uh, gap, we should have bought the gap on gap, but now it is way extended. I can't touch it up there. Gyre Therapeutics, this is a power play. We have a, uh, over 100% move here. It's starting to make a pennant. Of sorts. See this pennant? Um, in theory, you could buy the breakout of the pennant. This is a very short pennant, though. I would, what I'd want to see is just to see, have it give us some tight price action, like so, maybe a little shake out in the middle, and give us a little pivot area. And then when it breaks above the pivot area, we can buy here, set our stop right there. Maybe one to put on the watch list, G Y R E. And the ones that are really good, I'm going to put in the description. I'll let you know 
which were really good, meaning, um, in my opinion, they look quite promising. Silver Sun Technologies, this is another power play. It's really premature. What else have we got? BioVentus, a medical products company. Nice cup here. It doesn't have much of a handle. Super low priced. I'm going to keep looking. TCR, there's thousands of stocks in the market. I only want to buy the very best ones um, from the very best technical patterns. T-Scan Therapeutics. Boy, most of these are therapeutics companies. Way underpriced. Pulling back hard, I'll pass. Ramaco Resources. This did have a nice flag. The flag is breaking the wrong way, isn't it? So let's just... Now, if this is a bull trap, if this is a bear trap, and it breaks out to the upside here shortly, if it does something like this, and then breaks to the upside, then I'm interested. You might put that on your watch list. This one is actually on my watch list. M-E-T-C. It's a coal company. M-Y-O, Mayo, arm braces for paralyzed weakened arms and hands. Wow, this is looking really powerful. This is an interesting one. And you do have a little bit of a tradable area here. Here's another one. Perhaps it's going to repeat itself. So low price, though. I'm going to look for greener pastures. You could throw a little casino money at this one. Let's just look at the monthly chart. Yeah. So certainly it's been quite a bit of time since these buyers bought, but some of them are probably still holding. Some of them are still probably angry. Now, here's the 18-month line where O'Neill said supply to the left of this line didn't really matter that much. So when we look at it from that perspective, there isn't a lot. There's very little near-term supply. So that's pretty good, but really low price stock. This would be a gamble. The odds would be in your favor, but maybe 60, 40, something like that. V-E-R-Y. This is, must be a buyout. See this super tight action? I just skip points like that. A-L-A-R. Okay, this has potential. Israel-based software solutions for security and cybersecurity. I like how it's got triple digit earnings, big double digit sales, three quarters in a row, four quarters in a row. Gross margins are good. Did not improve though. Company is just turning the corner to make money. Monthly chart looks terrible. But if we look at our cutoff line, it is almost up to that level of supply. This one's not bad. I'm going to put this on our list. Now what would we like to see? So two ways we could play this. One is we could draw, we could draw a trend line by a bounce off the trend line, right? Something like that. Or two, if it would give us some volatility contraction. So if we, here's one wave, then if it made another wave like that and another wave like that, these would be, you know, like this. Um, and tightened up and then went, that would be our time to buy it. What else we got here? SMID, up hard, down hard, no thanks. Epix, as a pharma, Canada-based developer of drugs. Pre-revenue, that's always more risky. Monthly, these pre-revenue pre biotechs just got absolutely hammered um, during the bear market in 2022. Still a little bit of supply over here. But we did get a nice jump from three to six. That's 100%. And it's tightening up now. We're getting kind of a little bit of a double bottom. Here's one. You want the second piece of the double bottom to undercut the first. Even so, we've got some nice... We do have some uh, volatility contraction here. And if it would tighten up for us even more and then go, we could buy it right above that line, put our stop at 5 and 10% right there and right there, something like that. That's got potential. Let's put it on the list. BRFS, Brazilian producer of frozen meats. 
Nice run up, coming in hard though. Similar scientific, way too extended. Here's a measured move. One leg, pause, second leg. It's a nice little flag. Boy, I'm having trouble getting that to work. Oh, <laughs> I was pushing the wrong button, doggone it. Something like. Wow, this measuring tool with Market Smith is so clunky. That is why I usually use uh, stockcharts.com. I export them into stockcharts.com. But here's your flag, all right, right here, right here. CTIC must be getting acquired. Nice from five to nine overnight. That would have been nice, huh? <clears throat> Sentinel one overextended. PCTEL getting acquired. Pretty flat lined here. Fubo TV. CXDO. All right, this is looking a little better. Provides e commerce tech and training. It's a profitable company. Triple digit earnings last two quarters. Big sales last three quarters. Gross margins improved the last two quarters. That's good to see. Um, looks like it might be starting a stage two uptrend. Here's your stage four, here's your stage one. Just getting into stage two. It has a little tiny dividend. That's certainly promising. Multi-year chart is pretty ugly. Glad I haven't been holding it all these years. And like some of the others, we've got <clears throat> A big power play move, you've got months of dead price action. 100% or more move. Ideally, you want a pullback of 25% or less. I don't have a measuring tool on here. That's disappointing. Um, we are getting another pennant of sorts. This pennant is a little bit not... It's not that developed, but it's getting there. We have a little bit of volatility here, and then a smaller contraction here. If we could get another smaller contraction. So what I mean is you got one here, then one here. Smaller yet, smaller yet, smaller yet. And then if it went, that would be our signal. BLU, Bellis. Health acquired, I guess. Wow, this is trades super thin. I don't know why this is so gappy. Forget it. CDRE, this is on my watch list. Profitable, good company. Uh, it's really, here's your cup. Here's your high handle. Here's your buy point right there. But now it's really kind of failing to make headway. I am just going to leave it on. MKTW, not too attractive. A lot of these are low price stocks. Stocks under $12 or so are always riskier. They don't get a lot of institutional support and are prone to big, prone to turbulence. Kind of a flat line here. You could draw a line across. Maybe this is gonna make a big break. It does have increasing sales. Um, we could entertain this. We definitely could entertain this. I like the long, flat base, but gosh, monthly chart is just ugly. I'm going to pass. CHS, Chico's must be getting acquired. Udemy, way too overbought. MRTX must be getting acquired. QSAM, very gappy. Okay, I just cheated a little bit and pre-scanned them, and this video is going to take forever if I go through all 78 charts. Let me just show you um, the ones that I like the best. So I like this ALAR. It's a technology company, and it has good sales and earnings. Nice, pretty nice looking chart. We already talked about that one. And I like LALIM. That's the one we just talked about. Threatening to break out of a William O'Neill saucer. Low price, though, so be careful. BVS. This is 
starting to get the look here. Definitely have a cup starting to get a handle. Let's see if it'll just build us a longer handle, maybe a shake out in the middle. Then you buy in the breakout of the handle, put your stop right there. So I like that one. Or orthobiologic products for muscular musculoskeletal conditions. Wow, that's a mouthful. CXDO. I don't think we talked about this one. Boy, these charts are all looking so similar. It's hard to keep track. Um, CXDO, triple digit earnings, two quarters in a row, big sales, three quarters in a row, nice gross margins, ugly year long chart, 0.6 um, dividend. And this is another one of those power plays. We've got a little bit of volatility contraction here and a little bit of a pennant. Here's our pennant. Here's our volatility contraction. I feel like we already looked at this one. There's your buy point right there. CXW. This has some promise. And by the way, I'm going to put the symbols in the description, like I said. Here's a beautiful cup beautiful cup here um and now it didn't form a handle can i move that no um it didn't form a handle but it's forming what's called a cap when it builds a handle on top of the cup on top of the lip line or the rim if you will and built a little cap broke out came back let's see if it'll take off for real this time if it gives us, us a strong up day, I'd actually be comfortable putting on maybe a third of a position. Then maybe it builds something like this, gets tight, goes, then there's the rest of your position right there. Um, profitable company, diversified government solutions company. Monthly chart looks terrible. Wow, that's a little disappointing. But the weekly chart does look pretty good. Um, it's about to make a three year high. That would be worth a shot. Like, um, given the parameters I just mentioned, DLHC, this has potential. It's got a nice cup with handle here. Handle is a little bit low. Still have a lot of supply to deal with over here. Profitable company provides contract staffing services. Um, and here is that cup. Here's your cup. Here's your handle. I would wait. It's burning off this supply over here to the left. I would wait for it to blow through 15 with some power. I'd probably just set an alert. You might be waiting a while. Here's Epix. This is another little pre-revenue biotech uh, drug maker for prostate cancer and so forth. Monthly charts on pre-rev pharmaceutical companies are usually pretty bad. This is no exception. And then if they do work, then you have a parabolic move to the upside. Let's see, weekly chart. We've got some dead price action and then this powerful power play. So we go from three to six. So here's your power play. And now it's tightening up. You're getting some volatility contraction. Let's just let it keep contracting like so. If it were to go, then that's where you buy it. You set your stop, maybe a piece of it here, piece of it here. If it doesn't set up like that, then I just let it go without me because I want to control my risk. And that means I miss a lot of stocks because they're not set up perfectly, but it also helps me control my risk. And at the end of the day, that's a big part of being successful. We talked about METC. So the, the only two that I'm really excited about are, are these two. ALAR, the software company from Israel that has big numbers last quarter. And that is giving us, it's giving us a pretty nice trend channel. Something like that. We're getting some higher highs. We're getting 
Well, I was going to say that was a higher low, but that was actually undercut the first one. We can also see that it got support right around the 50 day. I would probably wait and let it um, give us a strong bounce off of the 50 day and or as we've talked about, just let it tighten up some more and give us a really nice tight pivot area to trade off. If I'd only do like a half position because we got some supply over here. These low price stocks are volatile, but they can really go. Then the other one would be is this CXDO, the e-commerce tech training and web-based tech with really nice sales and earnings the last couple quarters. And with this power play move, that's got a pretty decent pennant now. We buy when it breaks out of the pennant, like so. These are early turns. The, the uptrends are just starting. They definitely are higher risk, smaller positions. But if we can get into one of these early in the trend, uh, you know, in a bull market, which we are in, um, a stock can trend for about a year and a half potentially so that could be a big move and it's a lot easier for a three dollar stock to double than say something with a trillion dollar market cap like tesla per se so i'm gonna put um these i'm gonna put these stocks uh in the description but like i said the only two i'm really serious in perhaps buying soon are alar and cxdo the others are going to go on the watch list and I'm going to set alerts. Let me know your thoughts and comments and hey, if you get a chance, check out my partner Seeking Alpha Premium. What you can do is we can look some of these up on Seeking Alpha like this, CXDO. So we go to Seeking Alpha, we type in CXDO and we can read the latest news. We can read analysis articles, strong buy, strong buy, 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 hold. That's, um, for the most part, that's good. I'd like to read a few of these. And if you don't have time to read them, you can just click on them and skim the summary, the bullet points. And up here, you can do a bunch of fundamental uh, research. You can really dig into the financials etc that's my partner seeking alpha premium there's a link in the description below i encourage you to check them out think about joining my patreon link also in the description i will see you guys in the next video take care